Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with an unboxing video for you guys. So I have treated myself, so I have treated myself to a new tripod. Now, I have undone the top just so I can get it out. We're gonna kind of do an unboxing. I don't think it's gonna fit in this little frame. I can't really go, I can go a little bit further. Let's go a bit further back, shall we? Oh, now I feel weird. I feel like I've sunk. Okay, so I've undone the top just to make it easier to pull out. Let's go for it. That's a lot of bubbles to pop. Can't reach it. <laughs> this is a big box for. <laughs> so, let me just. This is the box. Yeah, I can't even get it in frame. And this is the box inside the box. <laughs> Let me get rid of me rubbish. So, I have brought the Manafrotto Imagine More, uh, I think it's the Compact Advanced. This is the packaging. Okay, so, um, let's go for it. So I thought I was, oh no, I thought I was crafty with it undoing the box. Right, there's one there. Do you want me to use a pen? Let's ruin my pen. There's the second bit. Now the reason why I wanted a new tripod is not for what you think. I know, but I'm, what, what, what do you mean it's not a tri tripod for what you think? I'm using it as a light stand because my light stand is awful. My, at the minute, my light stand is like that. It's the camera that's then tilted the other way to kind of make it straight. It's awful. It, it came with the light. I love the light. The light is amazing. The stand is a bit shitty. So, I did my research. You can buy little adapters that go on the tops of these for the light stand, for the light ring to actually fit onto. So that is basically what I did. So inside the box, we have a bag. Oh, okay. It's in the bag. Get rid of me rubbish because we won't be needing that again. It's on the bag. It's got Manafrotto. Now, just let me go and grab my other tripod. Hold on. There is a reason why I bought Manafrotto. I own one of these little bad boys. This is a small tripod stand from Manafrotto. You basically press your little button in and you can move the head to wherever you want and screw your camera on top. This is amazing to chuck in your handbag and be out on the go. And it's just brilliant, even if the surface is uneven, as I say, you push your button, you move your little ball, and it flips from side to side, so you can place your camera wherever you want. Love the thing, and it's perfect if you're a vlogger, it's perfect for vlogging, it's just, rather than doing that, it's an easier angle to hold. It's weird, yeah, but anyway. So I bought and purchased that, and then I was like, when I get my next payment from YouTube, I'm gonna buy something that I can give Back, not give back, but like make my equipment better. And that's what I did. So, let's go for it. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, are we ready? So here's the first look. So pretty, okay, it's, it's heavy, it's weighted, but it's not ridiculous. Like, if you have to carry this on your back, I think it's not gonna hurt, put it that way. What else do we get? That's it, okay. So. Let me just get out all my little pieces. Now then, what does it say? Okay, so I can place this tiny little thing that came with it, let me just zoom in, on the bottom of my camera to give it more stability, I think. You also get this with it. This is how it comes. So on the bottom, oh, I've got nails. There we go. On the bottom, you get a little hook. What you do, let me just unscrew. That is what your camera can sit on. So you don't have to have it on this if you don't want to. Um, you can put that on somewhere else. But obviously you can twist it into your camera by turning the bag, which is really, really good. And then lock it down into place. And that should click into the top of my tripod. Okay. So the first thing it tells you to do, let me see if I can work this out, is pull it up. Lock this handle into place so let's pull it round ah there we go 
Sorry, I didn't even get that on camera. So just to lock that into place. Oh my God. There we go. So now we have two handles so that we can move it about wherever I want. And if you squeeze it, if you turn the bottom handle, it gets tighter so it don't move. And then you can tilt it sideways if you want your camera angle at a side angle or whatever. So each leg extends. You just unclick them all and it just keeps going and going and going. I'm not going to do that on camera today though. In fact, I might see how big it gets. You also have a little twist button at the back and that brings the neck up. I'm actually wondering how tall, like this is on my bed and all it's got up is the neck at the minute. How tall does it say it is? I did read it, I'm pretty sure Oh, it doesn't say. Right, I'm just gonna quickly test this. Shall we turn my camera? Let's turn you around. So I know this isn't the best angle. I'm really in the smallest room in the house. So we are going to extend the legs and see how high we can get the thing. This is huge. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh my god, I did not expect it to be this big. Right, bear with me one second. <laughs> I'm probably making myself chucklier. Right. Can I get them out at the widest legs? Uh, right, okay, I'm struggling to get the tripod out to its widest form. Now, I am a hundred and, so if I stand back, I'm all, in fact, no, I need to stand next to it, don't I? If I'm 164 centimetres tall, okay? Uh, <laughs> the tripod is above my head. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the neck down. Okay, so, without the head up, I'm 164 centimetres. That is freaking humongous, okay? Uh, oh my God, if you're a photographer and you want to stand up at weddings, if you are tall and you want my eye level, oh my God, <laughs> if the bride wants the old fashioned, not the old fashioned, if the bride wants the, uh, oh look down on me so it makes my face look slimmer, trust me, you can do it because this thing is huge. Um, let me put the head back up. I'm just going to take one layer off each foot to just to see if you... <laughs> oh my god, I've just smacked myself in the head. Let's try again. The legs are super easy, by the way. Like, super easy. You just literally flip the button open, push your leg up and lock it into place wherever you want it. More than happy with that bad boy. Oh, I'm hitting things. That's never good if I'm hitting things. Okay. So I have took literally the bottom layer off. <laughs> the smallest leg. And I left the head up. And this is perfect height for taking photos. They obviously, they are light. They are easy. If you're on a hill and you want your tripod straight, you can lengthen one leg and make the shorter. I love it. I'm actually really impressed with it. Right, where's my clicky thing? Do I dare put it in without the camera on or am I going to struggle to get it off? Oh, here's. We're going to struggle to get it off. Oh. Let me just. That went in really easy. Right, let me tilt it towards you guys. Um, let me see if I can zoom in for you. Okay, so I'm just zoomed in. This thing is absolutely huge, let me tell you. Right, so, that is literally, right, so your camera's obviously gonna sit on it. I can't obviously put my camera on it because you're there, you're just there. Right, you literally pull the lever back. You're in place. The lever does stick out. Oh no, you can't really see because of that. The lever does stick out. When you obviously remove it, just pull it, and it pops out that easy, and the lever disappears. That's actually really easy. 
I like it. I'm very impressed by this. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm impressed by this? You see what I mean? My whole try it's not just the, the camera, the whole thing wobbles. So yeah, this is my new Manafrotto. What is it called? <laughs> compact something? Oh my god, I'm useless. Just the compact, I think that's what it's called. This does retail for £99.99. Now, obviously, I got my YouTube payment, so that took that price off it. And I did manage, I just typed in a line, a discount code for Manifrozo, and I did get a discount code for 50% off. So I think I paid 85 for this in the end, which wasn't too bad, because obviously I got paid for YouTube as well, so it made it a lot easier. And trust me, I don't get paid. Oh, you can tighten that as well. You can... Right, so <laughs> just work something else out, you're right. So when the lever is up, you've got your base in, obviously you click it to pull it out, dead easy. You can then, see how high the lever is, push the lever down to tighten your camera into place. I like it. Take that bad boy out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to loosen this, bring it back up, just give it a little tighten, just because I don't want it to fall out. I don't know if it can fall out. I don't know if there's like a stopper on the end. But today, we're not trying that because I don't want to try and sort that out on camera. No, no, I do not. Can you imagine it? Oh, she's broke it already. I love it. I'm super happy with it. Super happy with my purchase. But yes, as I say, if you did want, there's loads on the website. There's smaller ones, there's cheap ones. There's some that don't have the two handles on top. Some, I have seen one that basically had the ball on top which I think was cheaper. So yeah, uh, I think that's perfect for things like weddings, uh, parties, you can set it up in a corner, you can take pictures on it. If you've got a camera like mine with the screen flips up, great. I am looking at maybe the next thing is getting a monitor so I can more sit down and see everything rather than this teeny tiny screen because sometimes I go out of focus. And I honestly think I'm gonna stick with the Manifrotto theme because this is so lovely and I like my little travel. But yes, anyway, I hope this you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did like it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Click, my head is so out of room right now. <laughs> click here to subscribe, click here to check out my latest videos and click down here to see a video that you two selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. Take care, I'll see you in a few days with another one. And bye-bye.